What is up YouTube? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how I get all my cases resolved in Amazon a hundred times faster. So basically, for you guys that are already selling on Amazon, you know how much of a huge headache it can be trying to open up cases, and if you have multiple cases, you know, like trying to manage all of them and follow up with them and trying to understand what's going on with them. This job has made me dead inside. It gets really, really confusing, but I found one way using, you know, Skype and my team to like really get results a lot faster, okay? And it may sound really simple, but as soon as I started this, because I heard Fernando and Nick doing this in their business, I have seen significant results in my cases getting resolved a lot faster, okay? So for those of you guys who are selling on Amazon already and you have your team built out, right? You guys may be dealing with a lot of stupid cases that Amazon does, right? So say like you change your title in your listing and it doesn't update right away. Say you change your pictures and it doesn't update right away. Say you do a, you know, you, insert your dimensions but amazon gives you the wrong dimensions mm. and you have to open up a case for that right so all these little things like really add up and take a lot of time and this is things i highly recommend that you outsource to your team to handle so you don't really focus on these okay so one this video is about you know things that you can outsource to your team and two how to get these cases resolved way faster okay so this is how we're gonna do it. So most of the time when I open up cases on Amazon, I use the email feature, right? So I'm like, blah, 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 because I just personally hate calling into Amazon and I hate using the chat function because I have to really sit there and just wait and wait and wait for Amazon to reply. However, what I found, what Nick and Fernando have found, and what numerous other Amazon sellers have found is that if you call in into Amazon, you are more likely to get results a lot faster, right? So those title changes, well, where's my inventory? Where's my stranded inventory? Why is this listing not showing? Like, and their customer service, if you call in, you are more likely to get faster results. And that's what my team does, right? So you're probably thinking in your head like, okay, my team's in the Philippines, my team's in Asia, my team's in, you know, somewhere foreign. How do I set them up with a phone number to call Amazon? So when you're calling Amazon, you have to provide a phone number to them and they'll call you back and like their representative will pick up, okay? What Skype allows you to do is they allow you to pay for a Skype number, right? So basically this is like a US number that's assigned to your Skype employee or your team, right? I don't know if you can share the number, but I just have one set up for my team. If you can share the number, please let me know guys. And then maybe I might do that for some of my team members, but each person on Skype has their own number, right? It's the way I set it up. I think for that, it costs like $4.99, $5.99 a month, right? And in addition, what I used to do is buy Skype credits for my team. However, I realized with have, by having a subscription, right, on Amazon, it's a lot cheaper, right? It's like $2.99 for unlimited calls to the US, okay? And unlimited calls to bother Amazon support to be like, hey, fix my bullets, fix my pictures, right? Update this stuff, you know, and all these things. Having a team kind of focus on, you know, these cases and then having my team call into Amazon, I've seen results be a lot faster. Another thing you want to keep in mind is once, I don't know, you're at my level or, or beginning level, I generally use Asana and I have my own project where like we log every single case that we open. Because for some reason, Amazon just gives us a hard time or sometimes they just like close cases and we kind of forget about it so to stay organized when your team is contacting people for like the amazon cases what you're gonna do to keep organized in my opinion is set a project up in asana and the way i have it set up is kaban style so the table function so i have one section that's like queue in progress and then done so basically i just move them around once they get started but my queue is anything like Hey, can you guys update? Uh, I'll tell my team like, hey, I need this image updated. I need, you know, you guys to look into this fixed stranded inventory, la la la. And I'll just dump it in here and my team will go ahead and they know like what's already wrong and they'll already, they'll go ahead and contact Amazon with all the information that they need. They'll call. You know, don't get fixed right away and Amazon's notorious for saying like, it'll be done in 24 hours. It'll be done in 48 hours. And like, how many of you guys have experienced that, right? It's really, really annoying. So. Um, but it's up to you to stay on top of it, right? So I'll assign like the due date. I will move the due dates around, especially if they say 48 hours, we'll have it 48 hours. If they don't respond, if it's not fixed, then we have it right back on their assets, okay? Once it's done, you just move it to the done column or, you know, check it off, whatever you want. Done column, it may seem redundant, but I'd like to just have it all like put in there. 
And then historically, it just kind of sits there. And once you hit done, it just disappears from the screen. So it's like visually clear. But that's how I have my Asana set up. That's how I have my team contact Amazon. So basically set up the Skype number, give them the $2.99 subscription to call Amazon. Because it's going to be a good use of their time, right? Because usually when you call, it does take longer. Right, for a simple title chain, it could take like 10, 15 minutes, but it gets done when you make those calls, right? And it's a lot faster. So it's a good use of your time and I highly recommend doing that and kind of outsourcing this process to your team in order for you to scale as, you know, a Amazon seller. So yeah, if you guys have any tip on how to, you know, escalate Amazon cases, how to get them resolved faster, please let me know. I would love uh, for any suggestions on how to improve this process, but please let me know if this video helped you out in the comments and if you guys are going to implement this yourself, alright? So, see you guys. I'm Anthony, Blue Trail of Stellar Tradecraft. Have a great day.